Mendelssohn Glee Club, the second oldest musical group in America, was founded in 1866, a year after the establishment of the New York Philharmonic during a culture craze. Following seasons came under the batons of Harvey Shrimp, Joseph Mosenthal, Edward McDowell, Cesare Sorero, and John Royer Bowe. I guess it's my trademark is I do as many different styles as possible, but I vary them in such a way so that you're never left in one particular mood for very long. Mendelssohn Hall opened in 1891 at 40th Street and Broadway, a short block from the Metropolitan Opera House. When we came into possession of Mendelssohn Hall, a place specifically built for us, it was the hottest ticket in town. A ticket to the Mendelssohn Glee Club performance was absolutely the hottest ticket in town. My 10th year and my first solo, and to my surprise, I did it. An honor and a pleasure, and then singing with this great bunch is, is really fantastic. The people in, in 1866 were probably, by our standards, would have been starved for entertainment. Something like a glee club would have been very much in demand. Membership carried great prestige. It was a very, very uh, socially elite type of club, but that's not the case anymore. It's really guys who love to sing, different ages, different upbringings. Everybody is it's leveled out a little bit in their love for singing. This is my 32nd year in the club, and I've sung every single concert for 32 years. I recently moved to Westchester County, and I wanted to get involved with something musical. So when I came down and auditioned with Gene... Okay, you're tenor. Let's see if... Um, I was a little bit timid and a little bit nervous about it, because I didn't know anybody, and I was new to the area. But he was very welcoming, and the whole group was very welcoming, actually. Last year, 10 new members came and uh, we're looking forward to building the club back to the grand days of 50 and 60 members. The club has always been part of New York City's cultural life for a celebration of Italian heritage at City Hall on the occasion of the 200th birthday of Giuseppe Garibaldi. A Sinatra song. What is the cycle for these pieces? How Six months. months. <laughs> <laughs> Do the same concert every year. We just change the order. Nobody knows. And yet no one learned the music yet, so we just keep trying and keep trying. Three, four. What we're trying to do is get a, a sense of musicality in the piece. You really have to hear the harmonies. You have to have lived with it. You have to have experience with it so that it becomes part of you. One of the things that struck me about the Glee Club is the fact that it's a group of members that are all getting together because they want to be there. As I thought it would make a terrific piece for public radio. I mean, it's a shame that nobody has heard of the Mendelssohn Glee Club. Everybody should hear this, this organization. Traditionally, each concert showcases an aspiring vocalist. When you sing solo, to feel this man behind and very warm and very supportive was beautiful. It was really an enjoyable experience. It is really a labor of joy and love because I can take myself out of myself and put myself into the music.
Whatever its conviviality and historic tradition, however, the club survives after almost a century and a half by being simply what it always has been, a place for men who sing. Why exactly they should bring the members back each year for another arduous round of rehearsals must be because massed male voices lifted in harmony give us a special feeling of comradeship, warmth, and love of beauty to make the angels weep. <laughs>